My name is Mark Jensen, and um, I'm from Miami, Florida. Been an optician for 25 years, and uh, this is my collection. <laughs> I've always been a collector, even from being a little kid. My mother was an antique dealer. I selected stamps as a kid, and then I collected uh, little Hot Wheels cars <laughs> and matchboxes. But along the way, when I got into college, I started doing library displays. So I did a vintage antique board game display at a college library. And then when I got into opticianry in college, I studied architecture. I just started working in optical and really liked it. And the rest is kind of history. I just started collecting eyewear at the time. What's on display here is uh, about 200 frames. So I have over 2,000 pieces in my personal collection, mainly from about 1955 to the early 1990s. The collection was picked out to represent the best designs from those periods. It tracks the eras and what took place in those eras. I think it reflects what was going on. Like in the 1960s, you know, had a lot of experimentation where people were just experimenting with shapes and colors and, and design and different cuts of the frames. When you got into the 70s, there was the glitz and the glam. And then the 1980s, after some of the wars like the Vietnam War, the younger generation's kind of disillusioned by that. And you see a lot of angular shapes and designs, you know, come into the design. So I think history is reflected in the design. I tried to bring things that were not as well known to try to give it a little bit of spice, a little bit of something different. The celebrity photos that I have, they went along with the vintage advertising that I have here. There's so many highlights. <laughs> There's one from Germany, for instance. It's a one-of-a-kind clear acetate frame made in the 1960s with little yellow lenses. It's amazing. I have some that, like this Oleg Cassini down here with the diamond shapes. That piece was something that we recently identified based on the temple design. There's a number of Elton John pieces here, actually. I have a piece that's it's got 275 crystals and blue crystals. Uh, I have the yellow windshield wiper, the 1972 windshield wiper, Elton John piece. In about early 1980s, he was picked, uh, photographed wearing the clear one. The windshield wipers went the opposite direction, had little headlights on them. So he's, he's had two windshield wiper sunglasses, actually. <laughs> the way I wanted to present it was to make it relatable. That's why I added like the advertising, the pictures of celebrities wearing the frames, whether it's current celebrities wearing a vintage frame or whether it's a celebrity that actually wore it. Like Whitney Houston wore this frame in the 80s. And there, you know, there's her wearing it and there's the frame she wore. So. <laughs> It makes it relevant, it, it ties things together. So. And then there's fun stuff in here too. I have Bruce Jenner sunglasses here made by the Hudson Company, which is just hilarious. I mean, who makes Bruce Jenner sunglasses? <laughs> you know, who made them? It's kind of crazy. I have a Belgian artist named Will Tura. And in the 1980s, he did a tribute album to Elvis Presley. So he had a frame made with a WT in the center and it was made right here in England. <laughs> it's stories like that that are just interesting and things that you just never heard of. You know? yeah. Forgotten exactly. eyewear as it is. When I formed my Instagram, my Instagram's at Forgotten Eyewear, I started putting all my frames on there, doing a little buying and selling and trading with other collectors, and I met a lot of collectors. And through that, I was able to increase the collection and get different things doing that as well. I really tried to focus on things that were unusual or different or really well designed versus things that are just extravagant for the sake of extravagance. <laughs> Does that make sense? So, so well designed, you know, things by Ola Cassini and vintage Neo styles. I have vintage May, you know, just designs that were, that are kind of forgotten about but are amazing. And designers today are copying those, <laughs> those ideas, so. <laughs> I'm always looking for beauty in a frame for sure. I, I like the quality. You know, if you have quirkiness but the quality's not there, I'm not as attracted to it. Uh, like everything else, it's, it's a hunt. The joy of the hunt is part of the collecting process, is that we enjoy the hunting down the different pieces. Even if I stopped collecting this, I'd probably be collecting something else. <laughs>